the 20 of chapter disclosure pursuant to chapter 20 of section 20 of chapter 20 of the acts of 2020 an act relative to extending certain COVID-19 measures during the state of emergency and, and the March 31st, 2025 extension granted by chapter 22 of the acts of 2022. Uh, this meeting of the town of Bridgewater will be fully remote and accessible to public only through remote participation uh, to the greatest extent possible. No in-person attendance is permitted. Citizens who wish to tune in may tune in via Zoom. So I'm calling the meeting to order at 631. Um, and the agenda calls for the approval of the meetings on April 18th. Uh, I don't believe we have that in our packet. Is that correct, uh, Kristen? Yeah, I'm still working. There's one, there's item F on the new business that I'm working on. I finished all the exact language for the highlighted things that we had mentioned before. So, but, so I'm going to suggest that we defer approval until we get a full committee, uh, just so people know that uh, Kristen had sent a draft and I had a couple of comments on it and mm -hmm. we're working to get the minutes together. So we'll defer that until the next meeting, that, um, not the workshop, but the next meeting the committee meets in. Okay. Uh, is there any public attending? I see none. Uh, so no public comment. Uh, basically, we have on here an update on the committee votes for the uh, prior meeting. The first one was to send to the town council uh, a request to move forward on the uh, um, specialized code. That specialized code is something that the town council would have to adopt in order for energy and that I, it's in our agenda package, but I sent that on April 21st. Uh, I have not heard from many of the counselors on that. So at this point, uh, I have no update on that one. Um, the other one that I sent out for the vote was on the, to Mr. Dutton and Josh has just informed us before the meeting started that uh, uh, I'll, I'll say we had requested that the town uh, based on our vote and based on the vote that the town council did to hire someone to do ag ag energy aggregation consulting. Uh, and Josh, if you can show that, if you're allowed to show the RFP, uh, it's public now, right? Josh, you're, you're muted. Sorry, my Zoom's giving me some issues here. Um, okay, so, but we're allowed to talk about that and you can show it, right? It's not a, it's, it's public knowledge now. Um, now that you say that, um, I I don't believe the bid documents are due until June sit, or June 1st. Okay, so, um, so, so let's just discuss the approximate scope. Um, the point I'm trying to make, uh, not doing a very good job of it, I think, uh, is that the town has submitted an RF request for proposals, an RFP that's being posted for someone to come and be contracted by the town to support the development of energy aggregation. So basically the, the letter and the vote, vote that we took a meeting ago uh, has now been acted on by the town manager. Josh, can you, rough out a little bit what the RFP calls for. Yeah, sure. Um, so give me just a moment here. Um, it, it's, it, you said the RF, the responses will be due in about a month, as you said? Uh, so uh, it opens up on June 1st and then the deadline is June 19th. Okay, so June 1st, and then the yep. 19th responses are due. And that goes to the state. Uh, state has a site that you post all town uh, and state um, RFPs so that people can uh, respond. So, so I'll ask you a couple of questions while you're working. Mm -hmm. The contract would be for a year, six months, roughly, um so the proposal um 
let's see here. I'm just trying to share what I can. Yeah, getting, yeah, we don't want to get in trouble there. Yeah, I, I would say, I would say that would be outside of the what, what I can share right now. Okay. Um, just because it, so the details aren't released in, until June first is the is the problem. Um, I mean, okay. I can the the target date that um they'd like to award it by, um. But as far as getting into the nitty gritty of it, um, we do have to wait a little while for that. Okay, let, let's let's uh, continue on with the meeting then. Thank you very much for that update though. Uh, that was one of the questions I was gonna ask because he had sent me an email saying that uh, for my request, how is it going? Uh, he had sent me, he was working on it. So now we know it's gone out. So that's fantastic. Yeah, and then in the June meeting, I'm, I'm happy to um, attend and share the whole, um, the whole RFP with you guys and go page by page even. Okay, yeah, th that's great. And, and actually I can go get it if I need to. Um, so so that, that's that part. The next ag agenda item is basically, uh, we had three reports we were working on. And I think Kristen, you had asked, you wanted to talk about a report and I'm not sure if it's one of those, but your, your request, and I need see that uh, for the record, Pat Neary has joined us. Uh, but the reports that we're working on, you had said you wanted to talk about a report or the report. So can yeah. you expand a little bit? Yeah, I actually found it. So I um, I gave actually a new email for you guys because um, I have like 59 emails, all just energy committee. And I was looking for this report that I found just a couple hours ago. So you guys are asking me to organize our reports and organize the grants specifically into one report. So I was looking for what you had sent, that PDF, Energy Grants for Bridgewater, Energy Efficiency and Maximizing Use of Renewable Energy. So I had started on my own doing two separate PDFs. One was for the town that was from the Citizen Planning Conference that had all of the information and the links that we learned from the cons from the conference but it was mainly for cis citizen planners it wasn't really for the public to know it was more like you know legislative jargon that we could you know the resources the gis websites and all of these like little opportunities that like zara dueling mentioned in her powerpoint like all of that i kind of just condensed it and just put it on a pdf so that was my original like thought to pull from and then i realized that there wasn't really so much involved in the like for the citizens to really know so mm -hmm. i started pulling um from previous energy committee meetings things that we have been talking about and putting it together a pdf regarding that and now that i found this energy grants pdf i can pull from this pdf into the one that's more focused on and educating the residents. So that's kind of where I'm at right now. I'm still ironing and organizing things, but now I have more clear, like two like black and white PDFs, one for town council or, you know, the citizen planners and one that are that's more for the residents. So um so so to so to ask or to comment, uh we had three goals and we had talked in the past about doing three different reports. Mm -hmm. And 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 we've drafted some, and I think I shared with you a month or so ago some of those. Uh, the question after the uh, citizens planning planner CPCT, the citizens planner uh, mm -hmm. meeting, it started to become clear to me that, and rereading the goals and the deliverables, it started to become very clear to me that we don't need to do three reports. Uh, I think, I and and we uh, just to let you all know, I have given and uh, to the public uh, or to the town council, I've given a couple of reports on, one was on energy aggregation. And I've also suggested that we haven't talked about the PowerPoint that I put together in terms of uh, solarization of public parking lots, that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. uh, but where I'm going is, and I really appreciate feedback. I think just, a and I get, my inbox is full of stuff on solar, of your house, the, all the benefits, all the, and the um, um, information that the state's putting out and, and uh, companies are putting out. 
I don't think we need to put a big report. I think if we can just put together a list of links yeah. uh, under that one, that would be more than sufficient to address the goal that we have. Definitely. Yeah, definitely. I um I could share my screen and show you what I have so far. Um sure. so I have like community solar. I know um John O'Rourke's lecture, he was from Good Energy. So I have some um a link from Good Energy just so if they're watching that previous committee they can see what his company was all about um i have mark peterson also mentioned in um the previous meeting we had in january um about the stormwater utility credit so i got the information from that as well in there um the green energy consumers alliance the gold standard for sourcing renewable energy credit so i have that in there and then um it's a little interesting because I'm, I'm still work, working on it, but um, going back to the CPTC conference, the community solar survey, there's a whole um, kind of avenue we can go down to talk about maybe at another time about um, setting up a survey for the town to take. So there could be a link there so that they could be linked to the survey that they could take for the town. So yeah, that's kind of where it's at right now that's that's super uh tom yeah. you have any comments um not right now but, but i try to get a hold of um the btv i left a couple of messages there to see what um the avenue would be there to put out something like you have you talked about chris in a, a list uh, mm -hmm. of uh sites that the, the town can get to i'm waiting for, to get some hair back from them some of uh, i haven't heard anything back um but what you put together sounds awesome. And we just got to get it out to the, the general public, the people we have coffee with and stuff like that want to see right. what's available to them and what what, mm -hmm. what they would benefit from. And we yeah. all get the emails from the from these companies that, hey, you know, we get panels to put on your roof, but do we address them? Do we answer them? If that's, we got to entice these people to go that way. Mm -hmm. I agree. So, so let's continue with getting the links into one document. I'm hoping that the document wouldn't be more than a, uh, a two pager. No, it's, I'm not like a half a page right now with everything, so. Right. Um, and then the question comes, how do we get that out to the public? And I think Tom, you are, are working on potentially, uh, once we get this list together, doing a uh, um, little piece with BTV and talking about the options. You know, we can talk about community solar. We can talk about the aggregation process that's going on right now um, that we talked earlier about earlier. We can also talk about the incentives for solar on your houses. Uh, we can also talk about small wind, that kind of thing. I've gotten some interest in, from a couple of people on small wind. Um, so I would think that that might be the focus of that particular piece. In terms of, so so let's, let's continue with that. Um, if you could, uh, Kristen, it, once you get, Feel you're in a good place. If you could share that to the committee, then we can mm -hmm. uh, um, talk about it at the next meeting. Sounds good. Okay. Thank you very much for doing that. Um, I'll take a look at the three. Uh, and I, the other thing I'll say is a couple of the reports that we had drafted have tons of links in it. So maybe that would be another good resource for you to pull mm -hmm. in. I just started getting overwhelmed by it. Yeah, um, definitely. I am seeing even the. Um, the energy grants for Bridgewater that has mm -hmm. links that I can pull from. So that's kind of what I was working on before this. So definitely. I wanted to mention one other thing. I don't know if it's if it's an okay time. But uh, was, let's take it up under new business. Let's talk for a second about um, the um, fire station. Uh, as you know, we are scheduled for a workshop next Monday evening with the architect for the fire. Uh, um, station building and energy conservation. Kristen, help me out. Did we take a vote at the last meeting that, that we would send them that little uh, uh, FYI piece uh, to the architect? Did we take that vote? It was a memo, a memo to the building committee. So it was, um, here it is. Let me have the, I just started, worked on that because I was like, where was that language? So. The, the piece that we had talked about attached to our agenda. Um, yes. 
and, 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 and I'm happy to forward it to the architect if that's, oh, I, th okay. I think that's important. So the motion that the energy committee recommends that the fire station building committee should consider following FIAS yep. requirements mm -hmm. for energy efficiency was made by Carlton and Didley seconded. So it was, it wasn't the designs architect, it was the building committee. It was basically passing the baton over to the building committee and asking if they would consider following the FIAS requirements for their energy efficiency. <coughs> okay, L let, me, let me take the action because I, I had missed that one. Uh, let me take the action to forward that piece to the energy committee, but I'm also going to send it to the architect uh, okay. since the, the building committee would have input on to what they want to do. Uh, so I'll take the action at this point to get that out to the building committee before our, our meeting next week. Um, thank you. Uh, so that's the fire station update. And so now you were starting to work on something else. You had an idea, please. New business. Yes. Um, I just wanted to mention, because as I'm working on this like education piece, I'm trying to find other towns as a model. And I ended up finding Hingham as a good, yeah, as a good model, like their website, hinghamnetzero.com, I believe it's .com. Yeah, it's .org, sorry. Hinghamnetzero.org. It's my understanding that this is the energy, their energy committee's creation. But um, I just wanted to mention it so that the residents of the town can, when they're watching this, look this up because this is I kind I kind of think where Bridgewater wants to go in terms of educating the public. It's it's easy, like all the information on here. If you go on there, it has um, a, a whole drop down list of what a citizen can do in their town, and one of them is you know learning about electric vehicles and then learning about air source heat pumps and what's your carbon footprint. Here's a calculator for you: residential solar panels, food and waste composting, induction cooking. So. Uh, there's all of this information that's like really accessible and I, I think I did some research and the whole underpinning of how this happened for Hingham is they hired a sustainability consultant who was kind of taking over the whole energy and the whole like net zero piece of the town and this pet project started in the energy committee and kind of expanded and integrated into this sustainability professionals kind of uh goal for their for Hingham but anyway when I did more clicking on it on these what you can do links for example the first electric vehicles link they have a whole section where um you can click on you know the Hingham drives electric website so there's a whole website for um the incentive for electric cars to be in Hingham so it's just a way to like for me to format and get more ideas and how to how they are just making it so easy and visually like striking too. like the website looks great um so that and it's all in one spot so you can always go back to it um I just wanted to throw it out there in case people in general are still interested in this and there is there's a model right here and um, they can access some more information and it's kind of relevant to the South Shore too. So, yeah. Um, Tom, any thoughts? I just, I just, my my curiosity is how long um, did it take them to formulate a, a, any idea to get this? Mm -hmm. it, I read it, I read some of it, and and it's yeah. really out there. It's really good stuff. Very very yeah. easy for somebody like me to even read. But um, mm -hmm. how long did it take to grow it like that? That's and okay. who oversaw the. Um, perfecting of it because it's 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 impressive i know it's, it's very really impressive cool. uh, but it, it takes more and they, i think they have 13 people on their committee on yeah. this particular committee and that takes a lot and you get the different expertise in there people who do have a lot of um mm -hmm. knowledge and experience in some of these fields right that that helps a lot if we can get those people type of people in our town to come into a committee like that i mm -hmm. can see all of this just like and, you just said that's what we yeah. want that's what the people in this town are looking for Mm hmm. And maybe it's a like I had another thought of for public outreach, like maybe we could even set a booth up at some at events in town and just say, oh, here's we're the energy committee. Here we are. You know, we exist. Absolutely. So just to say, so they to get their attention, just yeah. to 
to, to, to have them think, have a light bulb go off, mm -hmm. go on. I, I like that idea of uh, the, I think it's the Lions Club or the Bridgewater Business Association. I'm not sure which has event. Usually it's at the university. And mm -hmm. I think you can get a booth. I'm not sure if it costs money, but um, I, I can take the action to follow up on that particular one unless Tom or someone else wants that to in the, I'm trying to think of what that event we have at the college is. It, um, is it the fall? I'm trying to think the name of the event at the college, but yeah. it's on at the college. Um, yeah, it's on the college campus. I just don't know who the organizers are. Let, let's 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 take a look at that. Maybe Tom, you can find about that if you mm -hmm. would. Um, no. The other thing that what you're talking about, Kristen, it actually goes to what I opened up with a little bit. Get, hiring someone, mm -hmm. sustainability, to, somebody to come up with a strategy, somebody to come up and help because we're only three of us. Somebody to come help us put together the things. Um, so I'll take an action to talk with the town manager again uh, concerning uh, the desire to have uh, an energy uh, consultant, uh, sustainability person come and help us develop the public outreach and those kinds of things. Uh, I'll, I'll take that action. But I also say, will say I'm not adverse to borrowing from people as long as we appropriately uh, rep, um, recognize where the source is. I'm not, a, no, I'm not yeah. adverse to uh, using other people's work mm -hmm. properly cited. Okay. I think, I think these people here, especially in Hingham, would be appreciative if, if we approach them in some way to look for them for guidance, because uh, this is something that society is trying to sell to each other mm -hmm. as we go. And then uh, I, think, I think that would uh, go over well with them. Yeah, they actually have like energy coaching, like climate, there's like the second link on this website is climate coaching and it says find or become a climate coach. Hmm. So wow. maybe wow. we could reach out and see how, how do they do this. How do they start that? <laughs> so from a policy perspective, uh, that's a lot of ed public education, get involvement type, but are there any things about energy policies on their website? Hmm. You know what they have? They have new uh, news and updates section where you can get more into their meetings. They each they have an up so they do their upcoming meeting and then the recording of their previous meetings. So I think that that's where people can get more information on kind of the more specifics of what is happening in their town regarding policies. But they don't have anything that really goes into too far into like policy or like any type of i don't know more in depth i guess they kind of well, try to have a broadcast it looks like of just like surface subjects we have that in some ways because of yeah. these meetings are being recorded in youtube and you can right. go watch it but we need something more succinct i think mm -hmm. um let, let, let's let's continue to think along those that ro that that line of thought and also maybe the consultant could come in and really uh, help pull it together um hang on like, like, hang him and sorry what were you gonna say no that's fine um hang him and cohasset have the same sustainability consultant like i looked it up because i was like this is amazing how do they do this and they well, have um they have one. <laughs> well, look, look, I'll talk with the town manager uh, within the okay. next few week, uh, um, days, weeks. I have a meeting with him on another committee uh, this week, and hopefully, we'll have a little a minute or two to let me ask the questions. Mm -hmm. um, so, so let's continue down the road of getting a succinct package together. I really like the idea that you found there with Hingham. So, um, mm -hmm. maybe we can get it moving. Um, Thank you. And uh, anything else under new business? Otherwise, just uh, other items that we need to talk about. I think we've covered the bases pretty well there. I don't know if it's new or not. The um, the big belly, which, which you gave to me uh, last fall, I don't think it's been moved. I believe it's dead. I But I was talked to the big belly themselves on, on Monday, uh, today's Tuesday, yes, yesterday. I spent about 40 minutes on the on a Zoom meeting with a gentleman from them. And I, he came up with some prices. I talked to the highway department. I talked to uh, Tommy Riggi and um, I just lost my name on, on the rec commission. 
about yeah. what would they do with them if they had them. And they come up with a, a, a wish list of about four of them. One on the common, one in um, um, the basketball court. Oops, what, yep. Of course, what are used extensively down here, and possibly two, one, one for Legion Field itself with, with, with the football and the Little League and all that going on there, and one for Marathon Park. But the, you know, the prices I got there, they're up there. They're $7,500 if you buy them, uh, the, the combined compactors. But they, they pile in five times the amount of trash that the, a normal trash barrel will take. And um, so it cuts down your services and it gives you the, um, the cleaning ability. It takes away, it, it cleans up your area significantly, according to these guys. Um, Tom, if, if, Tom, if you could take a minute to just type that up and send it as a memo to us. Mm -hmm. uh, we, won't dis we won't discuss it outside of the meeting, but okay. send it to us so we have the information. Uh, and, and I'll bring that up with the town manager because I think that's that that would be a policy. The policy would be the town purchase mm -hmm. like Big Belly for trash right. at parks. And I'd, I'd like to bring, if you my suggestion for the town manager, look for possible sponsors because they can yeah. put their you know, the bank could wrap yeah. one up, somebody else could wrap another one up, and uh, that that could offset some of the cost right there. You know? Yeah, uh, that that sounds great. Uh, yeah, let, let's let's take that under advisement again. Uh, uh, it, it, is old, it is old business, but that's right. fine. But, uh, I, I didn't remember to put it on the agenda. Uh, uh, it was something that, that just died, and I just I, want, I wanted to look at it and say, hey, what is this all about anyways? What, what can we do with it? It's something. Okay. Anything else, guys, that we need to talk about tonight? Uh, well, we've got a few actions to deal with. I've got the action to talk with the town manager about two items. Uh, Kristen's going to work on, uh, continue to work on that. And Tom, thank you very much for uh, figuring out the big belly thing, and we'll see what we can do about it. I'll, I'll get it in, in, I'll type it up. I'll, I'll have my assistant try to get it correctly done so everybody can comprehend it, and I'll get it out to you. So the next meeting is open yet. We haven't determined when we would meet. Uh, we typically would meet quarterly, so probably June, early July. Uh, if there's something comes up like you did this week, uh, please let me know so we can set a meeting because I'm, I'm not, again, I'm not adverse to having more meetings more often to get our work done. I'm on the road next week. Thank you, Josh, for letting me be able to participate. I'll, I'll, I'll be uh, out of the state and but I'll be I'll be here. Oh, great. Can I have a motion to adjourn? I'll, I'll make the motion to adjourn. And just a second. I second that motion. Uh, it, no discussion. Uh, the all those in favor, raise their hand. Say aye. 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 Meeting is adjourned. Thank you, Josh. Good night, guys. Good night, everyone. Good night. Bye. -bye. Thank you.